Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I'd like to give a Shalom, honors, and salutations. And honors and salutations to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of the Great Millstone. I'd like to give a double Shalom, salutations, and honors to the 144, the hopeful elect. And I'd like to give a shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this knowledge, this truth, this understanding, searching the scriptures daily, trying to find out what it is that is required of you by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, now Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be or he exists, which the world ignorantly called God or Lord, okay? And Yahweh Shai, being the true name of the beloved heavenly son and his name means he the savior or he the deliverer which the world ignorantly calls jesus christ okay this is your brother howard shy back at you once again with another lesson in sincerity and truth through the power and spirit of yahweh shimmy i was shy okay so i saw this article right this article right here it says Americans are running away from church, but they don't have to run away from each other. OK. And we here at the Great Millstone been saying that, you know, for a while that you're not going to learn the truth in the church. And a lot of these uh, pastors, OK, and these religious leaders, they have their own um, they have their own agenda other than the scriptures. OK. And as you can see, this was published uh, May 28th, 2024. OK. This was uh, published uh, May 28th, 2024. OK, we're going to get right into it. Right. And this is on uh, the USA Today. OK. OK. It says a recent study from. The Public Religion Research Institute found that more than a quarter of Americans consider themselves religiously unaffiliated. The perceived importance of religion also has declined. Right. A decade ago, 63 of Americans cited religion as the most or one of the most important things in their lives. Now that number stands at 52 percent. OK. This decline is not ra random. However, the most likely to leave religion are white, formerly Christian affiliated Americas, right? Americans, right? And a lot of your Christian affiliated Americans are right here in the Bible Belt. OK. And, you know. As you learn the scriptures, only truly only Jake's really believe in the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son. Right. And. But the way. Salakia, so like but the way the way it's being taught. OK. The way it is being taught is turning people away. OK. And and that's and that's the, the big thing. The way it's being taught is turning people away. OK. This decline is not random. However, those most likely to leave religion or white is no such thing as white formerly Christian affiliated Americans. OK, and that's and that's that's part of the problem. OK, in these churches, you're not going to learn the truth. You're not going to learn uh, biblical nationality. You're not going to learn the true names of the Heavenly Father. OK, you're not going to learn truly, you know, who the, who the scriptures are for. OK, and people are seeing through the narrative of these false religious leaders. OK. It says the majority say they have stopped believing in the religion teachings as their primary reason for stepping away. Right. But sizable numbers also leaving because they believe religion has become too politicized. Right. OK. These religious leaders getting up in the in the on the podium talking about political issues, religious issues, and so on and so forth, okay? 
but sizable numbers also leave because they believe religion has become too politicized. Additionally, the growing share of non-verts, those formerly but not currently affiliated with a religion, when added to the rise in what scholar Stephen Bolivian calls cradle gnomes, those who parents claim no religion membership, membership means that each year few Americans are connected to the house of worship. Right. OK, as professor professors of sociology and religious studies, we know that declining religion connections can have negative consequences for our society. However, the answer is broader than simply go back to church. OK, and I'm not going to read the rest of it. Because, you know. We know through the scriptures and through the precepts that. You know, all false things are going to perish. OK, and I say it once and I say it again. We had uh, primarily Great Millstone knew, you know, when we came into this truth, we saw how. In knowing, you know, going into the, the words, the geography, the history and, and going into the Greek and the Hebrew that this truth hasn't been taught right. OK. OK. Whether it be guys that are being sincere and they just teaching what was taught were handed down or whether they knew the truth, but had a, a, a alter agenda than spreading the truth. OK. It's just not being taught right. And, and it's not right, you know, uh, especially for people who are seeking salvation now as an individual. OK, you have you are set with the responsibility of seeking the scriptures for yourself. Okay. You just can't go by uh, what a man says. You have to seek the scriptures for yourself to know that those things are true. Okay. Okay. Just like uh, the church of Berea in the book of, uh, I believe it's in the book of Acts 17 and 10. Okay. Okay. It says our churches are dying. Okay. And, and, and we, we, you know, us in this truth, we know the churches are dying. OK, we've been saying that for years because this truth is is, is not being taught right. OK. OK, is just is just not being taught right. It's specifically the names of the Heavenly Father and the and the beloved Heavenly Son. OK, that's just one instance. Uh, you know, um, another thing is 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 preaching that there is a hell. OK. OK, keeping of the Sabbath, eating pork. I mean, the, the, the you know, the list goes on. OK. But without further ado, we're going to get into these scriptures. OK. To show you that this decline in people going to church is it, talked about in the scriptures. OK. So without further ado, we're going to go to these scriptures. Right. Bam. And we're going to go straight to the book of wisdom of solomon okay wisdom of solomon chapter four we're going to start wisdom of solomon chapter four and we're going to start at the fourth verse right it says for though they flourish in branches for a time yet standing not last okay okay and when they talk about the branches they're talking about uh uh the, the uh uh, Jake. OK. In this truth. OK. And it's not a color thing. It is a bloodline thing. OK. Those people who choose to follow blindly, you know, the, the, the wicked Jakes. OK. For those who, who are not sincere in this thing. OK. OK. And it's also talking about the churches for though they flourish in branches for a time, yet not yet standing, not last. They shall be shaken with the wind. OK. And what wind is that? OK. The Holy Spirit. OK. And and through the force of the winds, they shall be rooted out. Right. OK. Because the, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. OK. And if you don't have the spirit of truth, you're going to be rooted out. OK. The Holy, you know, uh, 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 when you talk about. 
the the Holy Spirit, okay, in the book of uh, Hebrews, okay, it says the Holy Spirit is the discerner, okay. It divides the 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 spirit from the soul, okay. This Holy Spirit will 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 find you out, okay. It says the imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat, yet meat for nothing, right. And what is those imperfect branches? OK, those that that uh, commit iniquity. OK, those false leaders, those those false pastors. OK, imperfect branches shall be broken off. OK, if you're not following these law, statutes and commandments. OK, the heavenly father going to break you off <laughs> like they say in the hood, going to break you off proper like as they say on the West Coast. Right. Their fruit unprofitable. Right. And that's why people are leaving the churches because their fruit is unprofitable. OK, because as we go on and on and on, more truth is coming out little by little. OK, finding your 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 true biblical nationality. OK, as spoken of in the scriptures. OK. People calling themselves uh, uh, Jews who are not. OK. OK. All the lies are coming out. OK, uh, uh, as far as, you know, uh, uh, the food, OK, uh, who 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 truly the heavenly father is and what he look like. OK. All these things are coming out. OK. And, and as these things coming out, people starting to see the lies and, and, and all these things that they see, they see that the things that they're they have been taught are unprofitable. OK. Not ripe to eat, right? Because you can't digest it if you find out that it, it really means something else or it's not the truth. You can't live by it, okay? Okay? Yay, meat for nothing, right? It's a lie. It's, it's, it's unprofitable. It's meat to nothing. Meat for nothing, okay? Okay? These, these scriptures point <laughs> if there's something wrong these scriptures gonna point at it and you can't get around it okay let's get another one so like you we're gonna go let's jump to the so like you we're gonna jump to the book of we're gonna jump to the book of proverbs right we're gonna go to proverbs 14 and 11 right it says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish, right? Okay. Okay. And if you want to go on to 12, it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, right? Okay. All these uh, false pastors and false teachers, like, like for instance, here in St. Louis, we got this one uh, demon, David E. Taylor. OK, taking people money. OK, under all kind of investigations for scandal. OK, and on a on a world uh, worldwide stage view, you you know, you got T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and all these uh, uh, so-called leaders being caught with young boys and, you know, alphabet community characteristics. OK, OK, that's why Proverbs 14, 11 says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown. OK, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. OK. When you really in this knowledge, this truth, this understanding, OK, OK, you're going to flourish if you implement it in your life every day. If you live by these scriptures every day, a certain situation come up. Right. And you think about, OK, what what scripture goes with this particular incident that I'm in? OK, once you hear it. Once you once you remember it and you live by it, you move, you do what the scriptures say. OK. OK. That's how you uh, uh that's how you stay upright and you flourish. OK, because this Bible is a living book. OK, if you abide by what the scriptures say and you do the things contained therein to base of your ability. OK. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah sees that. OK. OK, the scripture says there is no temptation. OK, that is uh, that is not common unto man. OK. And it, I do believe it going to say uh, with all he maketh a way 
for you to escape Salakia. I don't mean to, to butcher it, you know. I don't remember it verbatim, okay? But you how about if you living by these law, statutes, and commandments and having faith in your how about Shem Shai, whatever situation you in, okay, you apply the scriptures, okay, the best of your ability, and your how about Shem Shai, the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son make a way for you to escape, okay? Okay? But to all those knuckleheads, those unrighteous uh, uh, leaders and teachers, okay, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, okay? They're going by their own will, their own uh, understanding, right? But the end thereof are the ways of death, right? Okay? Okay? Especially when it, when it comes down to, the, you know, abiding by the law, knowing how the Heavenly Father wants you to live. OK, past the pork chop, giving out pork chop dinners at the at the end of the uh, uh, Sunday service. OK, Did, didn't didn't teach the people nothing, didn't edify them or, 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 or give them the true words of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. But he showed not a, how to how to eat that big plate of chicken. OK, and collard greens with pork in them. OK. And that's not what uh, the heavenly father require of us okay okay because the scriptures say a word is better than a gift okay let's keep going we're gonna stay so like you we're gonna stay in the book of proverbs right we're gonna go to proverbs okay proverbs 11 and verse 28 right okay because these these uh false pastors and fake teachers OK, they have ulterior motives. Right. It says he that trusts in his riches shall fail, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Right. And we read earlier how the, the, the corrupt branches shall be broken off. And right here it says, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. OK. OK. The righteous shall flourish as a branch. OK. These false uh, pastors and, and false leaders, OK, they, they, they trust in riches, OK? They believe in passing that collection plate, OK? OK? They, they, they selling you uh, 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 they're selling you lies, OK? Because uh, all ties don't necessarily have to be money, OK? OK? But that's what they push. That's the main thing that they push. Okay. Ties can be, you can tithe with your time. Okay. Okay. You can tithe with, with work. Okay. Which is still time. But there's so many ways to tithe. But they push this narrative that it has to be money. Okay. Just like that wicked, wicked, that wicked and devilish uh, uh, past I was talking about earlier, David E. Taylor. Right here in St. Louis, okay? Wicked, just pure wickedness, okay? And if you go to, uh, let's go to the New Testament, right? We're going to go to 2 Peter. So like your 2 Peter. And this 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 breaks it down and points right at to those, to those um, uh, wicked teachers and pastors, right? We're going to start from the first verse. Second Peter two, starting at the first verse, it says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who shall privilege, who privilege shall bring in damnable heresies. And what is a damnable heresy? OK. Talking about uh, hell. OK. The hell doctrine, the Roman Catholic doctrine. OK. Uh, 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 following the Sabbath. Okay. Okay. That's a damnable heresy. Okay. The whole thing about sex before marriage. That's a damnable heresy. Okay. Okay. And if you, if you, if you ain't, ain't knowledgeable in these scriptures, you think what I'm saying is crazy. Okay. It's, it's so easy for people to scoff and say, no, that's not true. But if you haven't studied the scriptures for yourself and read the book for yourself, how can you say no? 
Okay. A lot of people, when you, when you, when you approach them or you try to tell them what's right, according to the scriptures. Okay. Not according to uh, what I believe or what I think. Okay. When somebody presents you with the scripture, the address, they read it to you, let you see it, even pull it up in your Bible or on your phone. OK, at what point do you say, oh, wait, this person, he, you know, he's showing me this and might have a point. OK, but people that are self-willed, OK, uh, uh, self-righteous, will be the first. No, nah, no, nah, that's not true. Well, I'm not giving you my words. This is what the scriptures say. You're reading it for yourself. And no matter how many times you look at it, you ain't going to change it. OK, you could go to the next the next Bible, a different Bible. It's still going to say the same thing. OK. And at some point we in this truth. OK, just like uh, Titus uh, 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 three and ten, it says after the first or second ammunition, reject. OK. OK, because if you if you deny you're not denying my words, you're denying the words of a heavenly father. OK. First and foremost, and then it shows that you lack faith, okay, and that you hate the words of the Heavenly Father, okay? Okay, it says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying, right, the Lord, right, that brought them. And bring and bring upon them swift destruction. OK. OK. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Right. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken. of. Right. They, they, they line on the scriptures. OK. The one of the one of the most the most prevalent one is said uh, it's OK to eat pork because if you go in the New Testament, the scriptures say uh, uh, there's nothing made that should be refused. OK, that's that's a famous one. OK. But that's not true. That's not that's not what that's talking about. OK, that's not what that's talking about. OK, you still have to abide by the laws. OK. If you go to uh, uh, Malachi uh, three, verse six. It says, I, the Lord, changes not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not confused, uh, 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 consumed. OK. So that goes for his laws. He don't change his laws. OK, and he and he requires you to have faith. So that scripture is not talking about that. It's pertaining to everything that's lawful shouldn't be refused. OK, you still have to abide by the law. And even that within itself is a damnable heresy. Oh, we not under the law. So it's pretty evident, OK, that you haven't read uh, 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 Romans three and thirty one. First John, OK, first John three and four Romans seven. OK. OK, which states. That we are we are still under the law and that we will have that we are, uh, uh, are under grace and that we should have faith. It takes all three of those. OK. We are still under the law. OK. We have grace and that we should have faith. OK. That's 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 and that's what this scripture talking about. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of. Of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Okay. Verse three. And through covetousness shall they with fiend words make merchandise of you. Okay. They're going to take you, take your money. That's what they want. That's what they want. Okay. They give you a good speech. Holland. Spitting and, and, and throwing a snot rag. OK. No, what? One or two scriptures and then the rest is hollering and spitting. OK. And throwing a snot rag. 
sweating and dripping all over you, okay? But they won't forget to pass that collection plate, okay? And you ain't learned nothing. And when you go get your Sunday dinner, you still got to go pay for it, okay? They will make merchandise of you, okay? Whose judgment, okay, whose judgment now of long time lingereth not, right? And that's why people are leaving the churches, okay? They judgment is coming, okay? A lot of a lot of uh, false pastors and false teachers are being found out. Their judgment is coming, and their damnation slumbereth not. Okay. Okay. And it it, it extends well beyond uh, T D Snakes and your your Joel Osteens and your Joyce Myers. It extends way past them. Okay. It even goes for the the little bitty churches. Okay. Because you how about Shim Yahushai, the doors of mercy are closing, okay? The doors of mercy are closing. Let's get another one. We're going to go to the book of Luke, right? We're going to go to Luke 12. And we're going to start at the second verse, okay? It says, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid. That shall not be known. Okay. Therefore. Whatever ye have spoken in the darkness. Shall be heard in the light. And that which ye have spoken in the ear. And closet shall be proclaimed. Upon the housetops. Right. These, these fake pastors. These fake teachers are being found out. Are being exposed. Okay. Okay, they're being exposed and found out. And all of this is scriptural. Okay. Okay. Okay, because even, even the Heavenly Father is going to uh, close the, the words of this book back up. Okay. He's going to close this book back up. Okay, and the truth won't be found anymore. That's why the scriptures say, seek. The Lord, okay, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, why he may be found. Key, key word being why he may be found, okay? Because there's going to time where you're not going to find these scriptures, okay? They're already trying to outlaw the, the scriptures right now as we speak, okay? Because the truth is coming out, okay? The truth is coming out, okay? That this book is for Israelites. OK, so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And are you Israelite foreigners who look like the other nations other than uh, 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 so-called black, so-called uh, uh, Latino and so-called Native Americans? OK, if your bloodline only on your father's side extends back to a so-called black Latino and Native American. OK, you are, in fact, an Israelite. It's not a color thing. It's not based on color. Is based on bloodline. Okay. Okay. This book is for you. Okay. Let's get another one. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Right. We're going to go to Psalms. 85. And verse 11. And what it says. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And righteous shall look down from heaven. Right. OK. OK. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And that's what's happening now. OK. Uh, Vladimir Putin opened up them vaults over there in Russia and they have those authentic paintings showing the, the saints. OK. And all of them, all of them are so-called uh, uh, black, Latino and so-called Native American people. Uh, I don't want to say people of color, but they're all Israelites. OK. They're all Israelites. OK. OK. And and, and, and you got, you know, uh, uh, people finding out that they are they are the true Jews. OK. OK. People are actually finding out their true biblical nationality. That's why the scriptures say truth shall spring out of the earth. OK. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. 
Okay. The truth is the, the Heavenly Father going to restore truth back on upon the planet Earth. Okay. Let's get one more. We're going to close. Right. We're going to go to the book of. Let's go to the book of Second Ezra. Right. Second Ezra six. And let's start at the 28th verse. Right. It says. Right. As for faith. It shall flourish, right? Because the truth coming out, okay? People going to have, uh, uh, the faith going to grow, okay? Corruption shall be overcome, right? These these false uh, and fake doctrines of these Christian pastors, okay, is going to be overcome, okay? And the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared, right? OK. And that shows for a while. OK. People were in the Christian church. OK. They didn't know no better. But as the truth came out more and more and more, people seen the corruption and they start turning to the truth. OK. OK. Because for so long. Right. The, the, the truth didn't have no no fruit. OK. But now the truth is having fruit. OK. When you turn to the book of Psalms, uh, 147, okay, uh, 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 19 and 20, okay, or uh, if you go to, to, to the, to the, uh, Baruch chapter 3 and 36, okay, it shows you and lets you know that this truth is only for the Israelites, okay, okay, if you go to the book of Isaiah 14, okay, uh, 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 Deuteronomy 28, which, which shows you, uh, 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 who these people are and the things that happened to them. And that lets you know who the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son was speaking to. Okay. This truth is bearing fruit. Okay. And these scriptures are pointing straight at you Israelites. Okay. You so-called black Latino and native American. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you brothers and sisters have been edified. This is your brother Howard Shah. Okay. GMS St. Louis. Um, until the next one, I'm going to say Kwame Asha'Allah. Shalom. Shalom.